Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my kitchen. Today's recipe is the Greek version of a classic Italian dessert, yogurt and honey panna cotta. This divine cream has such a velvety and silky texture that makes it impossible to resist. Drizzle with honey and prepare the perfect combination of flavors. So let's begin. What is that, Lakis? This is gelatin. To make this recipe, we need five grams of gelatin. So this is very important. I will not tell you one sheet of gelatin because some sheets are two grams, some one and a half, some four, some five. I need five grams of gelatin, okay? Perfect. Now, I will break my gelatin here. Yeah? And we have to soak the gelatin into cold water. Cold, right? Now, if you have instant gelatin or power gelatin, everything is easier. But I will show you this way because everybody can find gelatin seeds. Now, I have cream, I have yogurt, I have lemon, I have vanilla, I have sugar, and all my ingredients are here. So, take 100 grams of cream, put it in a pot, medium heat with sugar, vanilla, and we want the mixer to be just a little bit hot. The rest of the cream, take a bowl, this one, and add the rest of the cream with Greek yogurt. You can take 2% fat Greek yogurt. It's okay with that. And I love the flavor and, of course, the texture of the Greek yogurt. Look at this. It's actually like sour cream. Now, my mixer is start to boiling here, but it's not boiling yet. And just whisk the yogurt with the cream in the bowl until they are completely combined. Bravo, easy, very easy. And now, now take the mixer of the heat and add the gelatin. As you can see, the gelatin is soft and nice. So squeeze a little bit to take off the excess water and take the gelatin, drop it into the hot mixer of cream, sugar and vanilla and whisk a little bit until it's completely dissolved. Is okay? Bravo. Now take all this mixer and add it to the yogurt and cream mixer. And now mix again. You didn't know, but actually, the recipe, done, finished. I want a squeeze of lemon inside here. Mix again. And now it's the time to put my panna cotta mixer into ramekin. I have this lovely ramekin here, and take one jar. And just divide the mixer to the ramekins. This is the easiest recipe ever. Now I think they are perfectly divided. And it's time for the fridge. Refrigerate for about three to four hours until the mixer completely set, and then we will serve it with honey and walnuts. And my panna cotta is ready. completely set and ready to be served. Look at this. Amazing. A nice recipe. You can even use light cream if you want to make it healthier. I don't mind because actually the yogurt and the gelatin will set up the mixer. And we want a little bit honey. Greek honey, the best honey ever. I don't know why, but all the Greek products are the best. And I have to promote my country. That's true also. Walnuts. This is beauty. Look at this. Perfect. Now, it's time for the mint. You can even add some thyme. I love the combination of thyme and yogurt, but maybe it will be extreme for you. But I will add 
sometimes. If you never tried thyme, honey, and yogurt, you will not believe how they perfectly combine. Look at this. And of course, a little bit of mint here for decoration. And here. So please subscribe to my channel, make comments underneath the video and share this lovely recipe with your friends. See you next time, bye bye. Yes, us. No, come here, you have to eat. I will just try because I love it. This is the best dessert ever. Look at this. Look at the texture. Can you see that? It's so velvety and so sexy, so nice. And the combination with the thyme and honey and everything. Oh man, this is this is extremely good.